Hi Libra, this is your January 2022 love reading. We're going to see what is in store for you and what you can expect in love for the month of January. So we'll go ahead and get three cards. Okay, we have the Magician in reverse. Oops. We have the Five of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. At the bottom of the deck... We have the Ace of Swords. Okay, and now let's go ahead and see what the guidance is for the month of January, Libra. Wow, I didn't even have to. Okay, there is deception and unrequited love here. Okay, so we'll go with that. And at the bottom of the deck, there's codependency. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clarify the Magician in Reverse. So the Magician in reverse, you may be dealing with an Aries, or you may have Aries in your chart. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oops. Oh, wow. You've come up in your own reading, but you're in the reverse, Libra. Okay. So it's kind of telling me that is there is something that you've been trying to manifest here, something that you've been wanting to have, but you don't have it. And that's because you're not being honest with yourself. I feel that there's a dishonesty here. We did get that deception card, if you remember. There's something that's not being done right here. And until that is fixed, you will not get what you want. You will have to wait for the manifestation that you want because something is not right. There's something that needs to be made right is what I'm getting. But the first step to that is to be honest, be honest with yourself. What have you been doing wrong? Or if you're dealing with a Libra, what has, or if you're, if you're a Libra dealing with, sorry, if you're a Libra, okay, I'm going to do that again because it was confusing. So you could be the Libra that has been doing something wrong and you need to be honest with yourself about what you need to make right or you could be dealing, you could be a Libra dealing with someone that has done something wrong. And you need to be honest with yourself and accept that something wrong has been done and it needs to be made right. So I hope that was clear. <laughs> now let's see what the Five of Wands is about. Um, definitely there's a conflict, maybe an argument, a challenge for sure. But let's see. Let's see what the Five of Wands is about. Wow, that flew just a sec. Okay. That flew like so far. So that's the full card. Let us see what that is about. Ooh, okay. All right, I see what that's about and at the bottom of the deck. Wow. There's, um, there's something that needs to end or be left behind here, Libra. There has been, there has been a conflict Maybe a fight with someone, maybe a disagreement, argument. It could be more than one person, but whatever it is, it's something that needs to be left behind. We have the death card, so it could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, I feel like there has been a lot of words that have been said, maybe things that have been done that have actually not been good for either you or your person. And I think that's why we have that Seven of Swords here, because there is dishonesty going on in whatever this is. And until things are made right, until things are set right, until somebody walks away from a situation or a person, whatever that manifestation is, which I feel like is a new beginning towards something, it's not going to be had. It's, it's just doubly expressing what I've already said here. Just trying to make it even more clear to us. Let's see what the Page of Cups is about. Because this is, uh, this could be an apology. Hmm, let's see. Let's see what it is. Okay. 
I do see something about an offer here. I feel more like it's possibly an apology though. Somebody has been left in the cold, been abandoned, been ignored, been... I don't know if this is you, Libra, or your person, but yeah, just that feeling of being alone and not being wanted or not, you know. And I think that may have happened because something wrong was done and an apology is needed. It's kind of telling me, though, that even if an apology was made, it might not work anyway. Maybe there has been too much pain or... I don't know. There's been too much of something that even an apology will not, but the apology is necessary. See, I, I see a King of Pentacles here, meaning, meaning that somebody cannot be trusted. Somebody has lied, right? And they may have been doing this for quite a while now. Oh, wow. That's, that's weird how that's coming out. But yeah, that's what I have for you, Libra. That's the current situation. So in January, it looks like it's about making things right, apologizing for something. So that could be you or your person needing to do that. Um, yeah, again, look at that. Ace of Swords, bringing clarity to a situation. And trying not to manipulate with emotions is what I'm getting. If this is you, Libra, needing to apologize to someone, do not manipulate the situation with emotions. Do not guilt do not use guilt, manipulation. Be very clear about what you want to say and be sincere about that. So, yeah, there's there's a yeah, there's some kind of communication that needs to be needs to happen, some kind of action or change. Yeah. And yeah, somebody's very stressed out about this because it feels like somebody's going through something that's not really good and it's adding stress and worry to the situation or maybe this situation has created this toxic energy here but somebody has not been fair see that somebody hasn't been fair somebody has been doing something wrong here and i think that's why there's an ending in this situation there's some kind of i don't know what this is Yeah, somebody's been feeling stuck. Somebody has kept themselves stuck, I think. And look at that. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Because what's been needing to be said hasn't been said. And it's like there's a last chance to fix this connection, to make it right. You know that justice card about making it right doesn't mean that the connection is going to be okay. But... Maybe in apologizing, it will create some kind of balance here. And I don't know if it can be saved, this connection, but it's obvious that there's an apology that's needed here. And a chance is going to be given, an unexpected chance is going to be given to, to make this right, if it's willing to be taken. Right? So there is a possibility for a new beginning in whatever this connection is, but somebody has to be clear. Somebody has to be clear about what they want to say, what they want to do. And not be underhanded. Again, not be manipulative. Not be... Emperor in reverse is not a good energy to be in. Whatever ego, bossiness, whatever that is, whatever energy that is, it needs to be released. Because but somebody's been making the other person very unhappy here, keeping them stuck and blinded. I really feel like somebody has been doing something underhanded, you know? There we go again. Look. There we go again with that page of cups, that apology for something that's been done in the past. Wow. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. So Libra looks like an apology is needed for the month of January, something to be set right. Um look at that yeah so now i understand why deception and unrequited love came in deception because again somebody has not been honest in this connection somebody has been lying somebody has been wearing a false self mask and it that's the reason that this love this connection this whatever this is that's why it's it's ended up the way that it has so 
that's what I have for your reading today. Hopefully that helps you this month in your love life. And thank you very much.